You obviously love listening to podcasts. Well, have you tried an audiobook? Hi, I'm Kim, and I am an audiobook listener. It's actually my preferred way to, quote unquote, read. And if you haven't tried listening to one yet, go to www.fromringtoveil.com slash freebook to get a free audiobook from Audible. I may have just given you your new obsession. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And you are listening to From Ring to Bell, a wedding planning podcast. Where we share tips and information to help you plan the wedding of your dreams. Without all the stress. Honoring the loved ones that have passed on. Episode number 78. In this episode, we are giving you a few options on how to honor the loved ones that have passed on during your wedding. So consider first, how close is it to the loss? How would this affect the people, you know, you and your guests and things like that? If it's Mm -hmm. too soon, you may want to do something simple and private right or something so yes if it's been too soon it just might turn this this happy occasion into a not so happy one and nope you don't want that you don't want to look back on this occasion and be totally sad Uh, yeah it's understandable if you just had a loss in your family Mm -hmm. or something that that is absolutely understandable but try not to dwell on the sadness try to dwell on the happiness right and also remember if you were, if the guests were really close to the, your family member, your dad, your mom, your grandparents, you know, on either side of the party, is there going to be lots of crying? Is there going to be joy? You know, just think about that. Mm-hmm. Like I said, do you want the tribute to be private or do you want it to be public? Like, do you want to make a declaration in your ceremony? Or do you want to do something private off to the side? Right. Oh, that only maybe you know. Right. Or maybe a, a few select people understand what that is. Right. That you don't really share with everybody. All right. So once you've considered all of these things, then you can move on with how you want to honor that that loved one at your wedding or during your wedding or in, during the ceremony or during the reception. Right. How do you honor your loved one if you choose to do so? Right. We've got a few suggestions some things that we thought were really good ideas right nothing too cheesy nothing too but then again i think well if this person was really cheesy that (laughs) might be very fitting right right so you kind of have to consider the person that you're honoring and decide whether you want to go with their personality and who they were or if you just want to do something really sweet and special for them right wear something that reminds you of that person either there's several things that you can do here. You can sew something into your dress. Mm-hmm. If you know, if the bride's remembering your grandmother or your mother or your father or grandfather, if they have some shirt that you loved or, you know, that they really like to wear and it made you think of your dad, take a piece of the material of the shirt and sew it into your dress, either into a heart or some kind of shape. Also, charms. Mm-hmm. You can, you know, pin charms in your dress or in your bouquet or, you know, things like that. I really love the charm idea. I think I've seen so many of those and those are really sweet. Like on the boutonniere, mm-hmm. they had a, a charm with a picture in that. And I thought yeah. that's a really good way to, to honor somebody during your wedding. So it, either the boutonniere or the bouquet. I mm-hmm. really, really like that personally. <laughs> I think that's really special. You can also... Use something that you've given them during their life. Um, again, like the, there's a favorite tie. We saw where they tied that around the bouquet as instead of ribbon. Right. What a cool idea. <laughs> or you could give it to the groom and he could wear it or right. something like that. You know, just make something special out of what you gave them. Do a tribute in the ceremony program. You can light a candle, have a like a little prayer ceremony in the candle. Or you can do a photo table mm-hmm. at the entrance. You know, have member have pictures of the members that have passed on that could not be at your wedding. I think it would be really fun to do maybe even a slideshow or something and have everybody that knew him that might be at the wedding, you mm-hmm. know, electronically send you photos or something that you that everybody could, else could enjoy. 
During the reception, you could do a toast, a very special toast. You could go around and give special memories. I mean, it could be it could be really fun. It could be kind of saddening, mm-hmm. just just the way you do it, you know. So consider that. But I still think a toast would be really nice, right? Simple way to just you know bring mm-hmm. that person into the reception. And for the ceremony, you could read a poem in their honor, something that reminds you of them, something that they read to you. Mm-hmm. Like if your grandmother read you like the Velveteen Rabbit or something when you were small, Mm -hmm. take passages of Velveteen Rabbit because there's some passages in that book that really relate to kind of your wedding. Oh, okay. You could even do Bible verses Mm -hmm. or song lyrics. (laughs) I know Shannon's not too big on song lyrics, but you know. I like song lyrics, but I mean, sometimes they're kind of impersonal, but... Well, of their favorite song, you yeah. know, like, let's say they're a big Bruce Springsteen fan or something. Yeah, they'll sing the lyrics of the Born in the <laughs> USA, because, you know. Hey, you, you know, if that's if that was their favorite song, do it. <laughs> Maybe break, you can sing out. it. Yeah. Maybe you can sing it at the reception. Oh, yeah, that would be fun, too. Yeah, yeah. do a little karaoke. Yeah, put some of their favorite songs in the, in the reception <laughs> t- uh, dancing time. Yeah. Timeline. Um, having a moment of silence. I... I I know that's like a very traditional way, mm-hmm. and but it seems very. Uh, what do I want to say? Melancholy, melancholy, but also like like military does it, and uh, the government does it. Stuff. So it it doesn't feel very personal to uh. me. I just I never know what to think about mm. during this moment of silence. So yeah. if it means something to you, do that. If not, <laughs> go on to something else. Instead of favors. Donate the sum that you would spend on your favors to their favorite charity and note that in the program mm-hmm. or, you know, something like that. Just so you, the, the guests could be aware of it. That's right. Save them a seat. You can have an empty seat mm-hmm. with either either a rose or a bouquet, picture, something there that says saved for daddy, you know, no. or, or grandpa, or what have you. Yeah. That I see that most often. Have a handwritten note that they have given you, tucked in your bouquet or in your dress. Mm -hmm. (laughs) In your bra. (laughs) Wherever. (laughs) You know, just some token that they've given you that you can carry with you. That's right. Something neat that we found is someone made a bracelet out of their loved one that passed on. Their wedding ring, their, you know, their plain wedding band. Mm -hmm. And they attached like a chain from one end to the other. And so they have a bracelet charm that's their wedding ring. So I thought that was cool. And I bet you could probably, if you have a charm bracelet that you wear all the time, you Mm -hmm. could probably get that somehow attached to that, depending on how big the ring is. If it it was a man, it could be pretty big. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it was, I guess so, yeah, that would probably be too big. But, But I really, we did really like that. The bracelet idea Mm -hmm. was really cool looking. You can carry a family heirloom. Maybe it's a Bible. Or a book. Maybe you have a book of like the family. Mm -hmm. Family tree. Mm -hmm. You can carry that with your bouquet. Lots of florists can incorporate that book into a bouquet. So if you want to, you know, try to do something and they'll help you preserve it. They won't just put a wet bouquet on your book. (laughs) I would hope not. Yeah. But the florist will preserve the book. They will have some protective layer under the bouquet that right. they wrap around the the book or whatever. What other like family uh, heirlooms? Well, you've got jewelry, mm-hmm. right? You can you can wear the jewelry or brooches or something like that. Yeah, you can put the brooch, like if you bustle your dress in the back, you can put the brooch where the bustle is, mm-hmm. where they attach it, or you can put it in your hair, make it into a comb. Yeah, put it on your bouquet. Mm-hmm. Those are pretty. Anything that goes with bouquet, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> I like that. What if it's like your best friend, though? Like, what would you, you don't have a family heirloom or anything. Right. What would you use? Well, I mean, if it was a best friend, you could do something in their honor. Like, maybe the charity thing. Because mm-hmm. if, if they died of something like cancer or mm-hmm. a, any other kind of disease, you can send that money to charity that you're going to spend on something I wouldn't ask for donations. Or if you want to, in lieu of gifts, you right. can probably do that, too. Maybe a, like a concert ticket or something that you two, like, really had a blast at or something. Or mm. take something, if it was a childhood 
best friend that you've had since childhood. You could mm-hmm. find something that you all, you guys always loved and mm-hmm. incorporate that. Yeah, because I was thinking family heirlooms for like a best friend wouldn't really work. <laughs> but you could also do the seat, of course, mm-hmm. for that. You can do floral arrangements in their honor. It doesn't have to be the main floral arrangements in your ceremony or reception. It could be something off to the side, maybe on their memory table. Right. And we've done a few of those. Mm -hmm. Um, You can include a family recipe on the menu that you're serving. That would be really cool. If you, you know, Aunt Aunt Sue died and Mm -hmm. her, she made the best potato salad or whatever it was. Chicken and dumplings. Then maybe you can have your (laughs) caterer, you could give that recipe on. Mm. I know some caterers do take recipes and try to to recreate them, right? (laughs) I'm pretty sure I've I've read that. Even still. I'm sure they would do it for... The right amount of money. Of course. Of course. <laughs> but you could also have it printed on, on a menu, too. Right. To take home as a favor. That doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> um, You can also do a balloon release. We've right. seen ladybugs, which oh. that would be kind of anticlimactic, though, if you release ladybugs. <laughs> they just break down. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Butterflies. Of course, there's doves, which we don't recommend. I don't really recommend the butterflies either because you have to buy them in bulk and they're mm-hmm. frozen. Yeah. And then sometimes they don't come back alive. Right. Unless you can find them, you know, locally yeah. alive, then that would be fine. But that's kind of kind of nice. And then you've got the Japanese lanterns mm-hmm. that you can... I've never done that. And that always freaks me out. Which like, one? The ones that go up or yeah. the ones that will because f- i like the ones that float like if they're if you're oh, yeah if your ceremony or reception is by a waterway mm-hmm. you know like a, a small stream or something that's enough that you can have something flow down it i would love to do that that would be fun it's the ones that float up yeah i'm just especially me. here in yes. the, sp- the pacific northwest we have all these tall trees i'm afraid and we have you know there's always a fear of forest fires because mm-hmm. there's so much tree <laughs> there's so many trees that it won't go high enough and it'll catch a tree on fire. Yeah, I'm scared of that too. But I've never done it, so I don't really know how it works. Yeah. Surely at some point that it goes mm-hmm. out, you know, yeah. and it probably comes, floats back down to the to the. Ground, and balloons, but... they say, are kind of dangerous for planes. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't, you know, just check your local yeah. <laughs> things. <laughs> Make sure it's okay. Yeah. Ask your venue. I'm sure they yeah. would know. I've also, this one's kind of cool, although some wind chimes are kind of annoying, but set a wind chime off to the side, maybe in a tree outside and the wind's blowing and it's kind of like their spirit or whatever is mm-hmm. with you when the wind's blowing. Or it just reminds you to think right. of them. Also, you can include their favorite flowers in your wedding flowers. Mm-hmm. That would be an excellent idea, in my opinion. <laughs> I just think that, I mean, flowers have a lot of meaning to a lot of people. So yes. that would be a good one to do. If it was a military loss, like you lost a family member in the military, you just you can display their flag that they had, maybe on a memory table or in their chair that they were supposed to sit at. That right. would be nice. Forget me not as favors. Uh, seeds, the yes. seeds. Forget me not seeds as favors. And you know how we feel about favors, but this is something we can get behind. It's right. Flowers, you can plant them. Um, they can. They can grow Mm -hmm. for years, right? Right. They they come back every year. And I think that's a really good memory, especially for the people, the guests that are at your wedding. And it may be people who knew this person. And you can put on there, you know, who it's for Mm -hmm. and what, you know, their birth date and their death date, which is kind of morbid. But I don't like talking about death. Can you tell? (laughs) (laughs) And these are just a few things. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of ways that, that you can honor but i think the main key is look at the person that you're honoring and who were they and what were they like what was their personality would they love for you guys to do the chicken dance at the at the reception in their honor (laughs) or the conga line you know or or is it were they somebody like who was very sweet and subtle and maybe just want a little poem like you said the velveteen Mm. rabbit just (laughs) and if you want it publicly displayed and talked about or if you just want to secretly tuck something in your in your lingerie you know it's just it's kind of up to you right how you want to do that so just realize who you're with how it will affect people and you know if you can make it a public or a personal display right and if it's your fiance 
it's their loved one that has mm-hmm. has uh, passed. You can pass some of these on to them and and be very encouraging of this and let them give this little little token, little thing, little to, tribute. Yeah, to honor whom they've lost. You know, try to be very encouraging with that. Okay, enough of the sad. <laughs> so at this point, we have gone to Vegas and had our wedding con- um, conference, conference, Con- convention, Con- convention. <laughs> but we well, haven't really been there yet. <laughs> we're recording. We're pre-recording. <laughs> so when we get back, we will let you know how it went, and hopefully, we have met some of you, some of our our new friends. We'll let you know. Yeah. Email us at info at fromringtoveil.com or hashtag fromringtoveil on Twitter or Instagram to get a hold of us. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what you want us to talk about. If there's something that we haven't covered that you really need to know about and want us to research, we will be glad to do that. So just That's drop right. us a line. Don't miss a show. Subscribe to From Ring to Veil anywhere you listen to podcasts. And until next time, no stress, no worries, keep calm and listen on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Facebook, From Ring to Veil, on Twitter, at From Ring to Veil, and on our website, fromringtoveil.com. Music provided by bensound.com. <laughs>